Good afternoon, Jan Edmondson. Uh, today I am going to make, um, or I'm going to try to make a dip painting that uh, can go along with these other paintings that I've done. I have this one, and then I also have this one um, that I did a while back and varnished with the Liquitex uh, gloss varnish. And I think they would look great with, um, you know, three in the series. So those two I did at the same time using similar colors or the same colors. I'm going to try to recreate it. So my colors today are Liquitex uh, Basics Bright Aqua Green, Mars Black, and Brilliant Yellow Green. I love this, it's so beautiful, bright. And then the pink color I have is Candy Apple, it's the Target brand. And then um, I also have um, the Lavender, which is in a bottle, which is the Target brand. Um, I have a Dark Turquoise, which is the Target brand also. And for the white, I use Liquitex, um, sorry, the Liquitex. Ooh. Get it and show you. Sorry, Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic White, and I pre mix it in a bottle uh, because I use it quite a lot. My mix today is one part paint to two to three parts uh, Floetrol, no water, no nothing. Uh, that's just pretty simple, and I really I do it based on the. Um, paint consistency. So the Target brands and then also the Liquitex Basics um, are, you know, kind of a medium weight acrylic paint. And so hopefully you can see here, it just, you know, runs off. And that's all we want. And then the only other thing that I need, that I'm going to be using today um, with the dip is a piece of plastic wrap. So the first thing I did, I use these panels a lot, um, just basic birch wood panels. And so for today, because I want to keep the edge consistent um, to what I did on these, which you can see here. And so I just um, use painter's tape and just put it up so that I have a little edge so the paint won't go down. Um, and just press right here on the edge so that you can hopefully keep it from getting onto the wood. And if it does get onto the wood, it's actually really easy just to sand that paint off when, um, when you are done. Okay, so we'll start with the black and I'm gonna put that on and then uh, I'm going to spread it around on the whole thing. Um, sometimes I might do Gosh, sorry. The black a teeny bit thinner um, than the other paints just because I'm spreading. I'm trying to get it to spread. This time I didn't, and so it's just going to take, you know, a teeny bit for it to spread. I might use this thing and just kind of help it a little bit. Um, if I need to, you know, sometimes I'll also add more. This looks like I need to add a little bit more here. So I'll do that, and hopefully that'll help. Okay. And then we'll just go right along the edges here. And let that kind of flow down. Come on, it's real slow today. It has been humid lately, so I don't know if that has as one of the reasons why <clears throat> the paint, oh geez, I'm making a mess, um, has been like a little slow, even though my normal mixture. But so I'm just gonna spread this out here so that um, and it will, you know, it will level. All right. And we'll get this spread out here. And we should be 
good to go. This is another nice way to not to waste a whole lot of paint because a lot of times with pouring, um, you know, you kind of pour it over the edge and then it really just feels like you're wasting a lot of paint, even if you, you know, make jewelry out of it or, I mean, I do that a lot. Um, I'll use the, I actually will use the peels and just glue it right to a board like this. All right. Now, um, and actually this is, this was so low I did my mixing in here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll start with blue. I'm just going to start pouring it here in the middle. And see, oops, I hear my son calling my husband. <laughs> They're all home. Um, school is starting here next week. So we've been, this week I have off with him and we've been doing um, little day trips and things like that. We actually went to Baltimore. We just got back um, yesterday from there. And then tomorrow we're going to do another couple little day trips um, just so that he can have like a nice little fun, you know, thing right before school starts. Okay. And then uh, white, I'll do a little white because those other ones had white. All right, so let's see how this works. Um, I'm gonna try to get it a little bit more in the middle here. All right, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. And I just lay the plastic just right on top. And then normally I kind of peel it up the four corners and then just lift. And I love it. That's real pretty. And I think it might go with it too, hopefully. Um, now I see a lot of spots popping up that I don't necessarily like. So we'll, I'm gonna let that just develop for a minute. And then I'll show you what I do to work with some of that um, in the meantime. So here was another one that I did. Um, so it goes like that. And then here was another one. If you like Pink Floyd, I swear this looks like the judge <laughs> from Pink Floyd. Every time I see it, that's what I think of. It's like the eyes and the face and the, I don't know. Anywho, that's what I see. This one kind of looks like a butterfly. All of these uh, dips always look, you know, look like something different. Okay, so this is coming up. I don't really like all this purple here. Um, that is just a little too much for me. So sometimes when that happens, you know, I'll just take a little bit of paper towel <clears throat> and just dip it down in there and then pull it back and it's just that way you can help control the dip a little bit and we'll try it again on this top part just dip it in and then pull it back oh that's neat I really love that blue and green combination right there. That's real pretty. It's working so well that I'm gonna just keep doing that over here. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, and then I'll do that here too. Yeah, that's cool. This is really pretty, those nice swirls in there. And <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do it like another one over here. I'm gonna try to get it a little more black so that I can get more black like kind of in the middle. So we'll just put that down there and then peel it there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I think I'm kind of happy with that. All right, so that, we'll just leave that there for a second to do its thing. In the meantime, 
I was going to look for a toothpick, but I don't have one handy. So I'm just going to use one of these um, palette knife type tools. And if I get spots kind of on the side that I don't necessarily like or that I want to blend, I actually will use that and just sort of drag it in a little bit. Okay. And you can also see that you can, um, you know, change your design, bring in a little more black um, or whatever your color is here. All right. So I'm going to bring this one in too. And this one I'm going to actually just bring all the way down here so it looks a little more natural. Yep. Okay. And this one. I'm going to just kind of dip it to get rid of that. It's almost like you're kind of pushing it. Yeah, this is neat. I don't know what that is, so we'll get rid of that. And, hmm. Let's see. I'll work on this a little bit too. Oh, yeah. Cool. Actually, I'm just going to mess with that. Cool. That's pretty, huh? All right. Awesome. I'm really happy with that, actually. I think um, I'm going to leave it, and I actually do think that, I mean, it's a little bit more green than these, than this one, but that's okay. It's actually the same color. Um, since it's the same color palette, I think they could actually go well together. I might see the big one in the center, and then that off to the side, and that off to the other side. So I think I'm happy with that so that's where we will leave it today so if you have any questions um, feel free to email me or post your questions and I'm happy to answer thanks and have a great day